Happy Sabbath afternoon, everyone. Today, we begin Lesson 11. The best way to learn something is to see it, say it, and touch it. Use all of your memory sensory inputs to learn the material. One of the best uses of this YouTube channel is to use this lesson study as a starting point to get an intro into the lesson, especially the people that learn better from audio than from reading. Then go back and read the lesson in the evening and grapple the reading lesson. It helps the visual learners and being active with the lesson helps the kinetic learners. See it, say it, and touch it. The memory text for today is, I say then, hath God cast away his people? God forbid. I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. Romans 11.1. This week's lesson covers Romans 10 and 11, with a focus especially on chapter 11. It's important to read both chapters in as a whole in order to continue to follow Paul's line of thinking. These two chapters have been and remain the focal point of much discussion. One point, however, comes clear through them all, and that is God's love for humanity and his great desire to see all humanity saved. There is no corporate rejection of anyone for salvation. Romans 10 makes it very clear that there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. All are sinners and all need God's grace as given to the world through Jesus Christ. This grace comes to all, not by nationality, not by birth, and not by works of the law, but by faith in Jesus, who died as the substitute for sinners everywhere. Roles may change, but the basic plan of salvation never does. Paul continues with this theme in chapter 11. As stated earlier, it's important to understand here that when Paul talks about the election and calling, the issue isn't one of salvation. The issue is the role in God's plan for reaching the world. No one group has been rejected for salvation. That was never the issue. Instead, after the cross and after the introduction of the gospel to the Gentiles, particularly through Paul, the early movement of believers, both Jew and Gentile, took on the mantle of evangelizing the world. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share this video with all your friends and family, and have a wonderful Sabbath. God bless you.